What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making the Boulevardier, also known as the Bourbon Negroni. Hmm, so good. And if you're familiar with this cocktail, I would love to ask you a question. Are you on the equal part side or on the 211 ratio side? Because if you don't know what a Boulevardier is, it's bourbon, sweet vermouth, and Campari. And the classic recipe calls for equal parts of these three ingredients, while the modern version usually calls for two parts of bourbon, one part Campari and one part Sweet Vermouth. And I must say, I'm more on the latter side, but I haven't had the classic recipe in a very long time. So today we're gonna make them both side by side and see if I'm still on the 2-1-1 team. If you guys are ready, let's do it. Oh, and if you're new here and like what you see, thank you for subscribing, it's always greatly appreciated and turn that bell on just to make sure not to miss the next video. Now, let's make some cocktails. The Boulevardier was first published in 1927 in the book Barflies and Cocktails by Harry McElhone. Harry McElhone was the owner of the Harry's New York Bar in Paris. He was from New York and fled the country while prohibition and ended up in Paris and opened up his bar, Harry's New York Bar in Paris. Harry's New York Bar in Paris. Yeah, that's it. I don't know why. I always have a hard time to just put that name together without thinking too much. I don't know. So from now on in this video, I think we're just going to call it Harry's. But Harry didn't come up with the idea of the Boulevardier. It's actually one of his regulars that had this recipe and he was there so often that it eventually became a drink of the bar. The name of that guy was Urs... Er Urs... Urs... Erskine wine. Erskine wine. And there's something I really love about that story. The fact that at one point in history, not everything was already invented and you could just be like a regular at the bar with your own cocktail idea to drink that cocktail several times at that said bar. And this recipe eventually becomes a classic that is still known and drank all over the world hundred and some years ago. I think this is very interesting. I would actually love to be the next Erskine wine, if you ask me. But I don't even know if that's something possible anymore. But anyway, that being said, today we're gonna make the Boulevardier his way, Erskine wine's way, which is equal parts of sweet vermouth, Campari, and bourbon. And we're also gonna make the modern version. Because, okay, let's just like rewind a little bit. The Boulevardier is a riff on a Negroni. A Negroni is equal part of gin, sweet vermouth, and Campari. And gin is dry, it's very dry spirit. But bourbon is actually sweeter. Even though there's no residual sugar, it has a sweeter mouth feel. It's made out of corn, so it's also rounder and sweeter in taste. So it is very different than gin. All that to say that if you just add one ounce of each ingredients, these two, the Campari and the Sweet Vermouth, are sweet components. So you end up with something that's actually pretty sweet and probably unbalanced for most of the people. So that's why I think a lot of new bartenders or modern bartenders tweak the specs to make it double the bourbon. Two parts bourbon, one part sweet vermouth, and one part Campari. So you up the ABV and you make it more balanced in terms of sweetness. And that's my favorite version. But today we're gonna compare them and see if that's still the case because I haven't had the classic one in a very long time. So for the ingredients, what you're gonna need is first bourbon, in terms of choice of bourbon, I like to recommend a 100 proof bourbon because I think it's gonna stand out very nicely with the two other components. But literally, use the bourbon of your choice. As long as you like the whiskey, it should make a cocktail that you're gonna like. Then for the second ingredients, we're gonna need Campari. This, in my opinion, is not negotiable. For that ingredients, it needs to be Campari, period. No other bitters. Then we're gonna need Sweet Vermouth. Today I'm using Puntimes, which is a full body sweet vermouth. And I like that in my Boulevardier. If you like that as well, but can't find Puntimes, I recommend Carpano Antica Formula or Coqui di Torino. On the other hand, if you like a lighter vermouth, which can also yield a very good Boulevardier, Dolin is probably the right choice. We're also gonna need lemon for the peel. And that's it. So now let's make the cocktail. 
So today I'm gonna make both cocktails at the same time and I'm gonna build them right into a double old fashioned glass. I like to use this technique, especially when I'm using big blocks of clear ice. It is fast and super easy to control the dilution. So I love it. But obviously if you wanna stir your cocktail and pour it over fresh ice, totally up to you. So now, this one will be the classic one, and this one, the modern one. So we're gonna pour one ounce of bourbon into the left one for me, the right one for you. And one ounce and a half, or 45 mils of bourbon into the modern one. Now we're gonna add one ounce or 30 mils of Campari in the classic. and three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of Campari into the modern one. We're gonna finish that with one ounce or 30 mils of sweet vermouth in the classic recipe. And three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils in the modern one. So now we're simply gonna add our blocks of ice in both our glasses. And we're gonna stir the cocktails until cold and diluted. That's gonna take about 10 seconds. For the garnish, we're gonna express some lemon oil over the cocktail. So I'm gonna make two large zests. And I'm gonna express oil over, like that. And there you go, the classic and the modern Boulevardier. So now, let's give them a try. In terms of smell, no big surprise here. It's exactly the same. Beautiful, fresh, and crisp lemon smell up front. You can get a little bit of the other components coming through after, but really it's super lemony. You get a lot of chocolate notes that probably comes from the punti mess. It's a very full body vermouth, so that's probably because of that. That's the first thing that I got. Then some bitter citruses. But the bourbon is actually quite lost. It helps with the ABV, it dries it down a little bit, but it's not much there in terms of taste. Yep, I like this one better. It is still a sweet drink, but it is much more balanced, in my opinion. Now you get all three flavors playing beautifully together. They are in harmony. The bourbon needs to fight against the Campari and the Punta Mess. So I think it really requires that 2 one one ratio for this cocktail to be, to be balanced. But that's my opinion. What I would say in conclusion, if you like sweeter drinks and smoother cocktails, because this one will not have the same ABV, I think you can go for the classic one. But if you like a good punch in the face, something more balanced, go with the modern one. It is, it is real good. Hmm. I will not change my mind. My favorite Boulevardier is this one. I'm still on the 211 team. So I'm curious, what about you? Have you done that test yet? You love the classic one or you love the modern one better? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. So guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you wanna make sure not to miss the next one. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Then I'm gonna add one ounce of bourbon in that. I'm gonna put all that together, and then I'm gonna go for a sleep. Or I'm gonna put it in a freezer, because that's a lot to drink in the afternoon. Or better yet, 
I could put it in a small, tiny, tiny little barrel to age it and see if it works. Have you guys ever used that little tiny, little like uh, 500 mil aging barrel? I don't know if it works well. I'm curious. I want to know your thoughts. Any of you have tried that yet? Let me know if it's worth it. Maybe I could buy one and give it a try on the channel one day. Anyway, thank you guys. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye.